the last thing i would say here is uh, this is irrespective of synastry i'm saying now right. nowadays you know after uh, seeing charts for so many years what i have seen is the planets like seventh house seventh lord venus hardly matters right yeah in fact i am becoming yeah. more and more surprised to see this you know and now yeah. i go back to the original concept of tithi which is sun and moon interest mm -hmm. now i realize yeah. why parasara used to say or he said that you know tithi is very important tithi decides relationships why sometimes right. people, you know what is this sun and moon you know sun and moon has nothing to do with relationships if you see at a right individual level you know one is like power position one is you know what gives me right. happiness it's not uh, very relationship centric you know it is there moon is emotion and sun is commitment so i stay with one person but that is more of a you know marriage thing you know it's not more of a you know relationship thing but why is it said that it is the most important thing because uh, i have seen and recently i went to uh, south germany to a very big yatra for almost 14 days so i was you know talking to many spiritual leaders in around this area of europe and i i was literally shocked to know so many things and whatever the concept of tithis i knew and from my experience of sun and moon i also came to know from these leaders you know so like i uh, talked to one very senior temple president here in germany so he 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 was telling me you know we were talking of astrology and all this you know and he asked me so most of the questions would be pertaining to marriage i guess you know so then i said yes of course and so i asked him what is your experience of you know because within the spiritual right. community also you know always sometimes there are marital right. problems and all this you know because kali yuga is like that so. right right right, right. he said you know he said something which i was you know amazed to hear you know? he said what i have seen you know Uh, somebody the way somebody looks somebody talks somebody earns you know and where how the person nature compatibility nothing matters actually so there is one thing which matters i have seen i am like what is that one thing you know kya hai wo please he said right right i have seen if both the partners have had a stable family childhood upbringing Yeah. The marriage is good or sustainable. Yeah. If not, then doesn't matter yeah. how you look, how you speak, how compatible yeah. yeah. you are, how much yeah. you earn, how how much sexually attracted you are. Your marriage, yeah. I mean, that also depends. If your karma is very good, then it may sustain. Yeah. And he yeah. he explained it to me why it happens like this. He said because. Yeah. the problems in marriage will come uh, not marriage any relationship you know those relations yeah, yeah. take but uh, the your attitude should not be given take your attitude should be give and whatever yeah. i get is is like a part of my karma if i get good it's fine if i don't get that's great yeah but when you don't have a stable uh, family upbringing you know, especially the mother or father so he he, yeah, he exactly taught, that so he told me that if a man comes to him and says i want to marry a lady from your spiritual community i am also connected can you please help me he says i don't ask about his birth details horoscope career nothing i ask i don't even ask how much dedicated you are in your spiritual life can you believe it yeah he says i just ask him how is your relationship with your mother and father how is yeah, it exactly that exactly that exactly that Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's with my father. It's great, you know. But with my mother, mm. <laughs> exactly that. One hundred percent. And then he yeah. said, "I asked that why? Why is your relationship not good with your mother?" I said, "You know, right. actually, my father was, you know, good, and I have a good relationship with. But my mother, you know, see, I have always seen her, you know, nagging my father. You know, my father, or whatever my father does, right. says, yeah, you are not good at this. You are not good at this. You didn't do this. Right. Yeah, money, yeah, this, that." so yeah. now subconsciously inside that man there is a perception that you know or maybe every lady is like this you know always nagging and you know yeah. trying to pull you down and yeah. so that you are you yeah. know you are a loser or you know you are somebody like that. and similarly yeah. uh, uh, there was another lady who came and said you know i want to marry somebody then he asked her uh, that right. how, is, how is your relationship 
she said with my mother right. i have a very good relationship but with my father it's terrible and he asked why is it terrible yeah. because my father was a drunkard and whenever he used to come home he used to beat me and my mother right so now yeah. what has happened in her mind psychologically it has yes. entered that yes if a man is you know little bit angry or little bit misbehaving he is going to beat you so yeah. she has a defense mechanism out you know i won't let this yeah. Yeah. and he said no amount of spiritual practices can change this it's very difficult because this has been your karma for 20 yeah. lives or so sorry years yeah. ago you know yeah and similarly with the um, he said you know that if the father yeah. was not good he used to see you know yeah. the father would be very irresponsible so he feels you know it is okay for me also to be responsible in my marriage you know yeah. all, everything is fine so If the mother father is very important nowadays i give 90% emphasis to this sun and moon and no, practically nothing else i see in the chat no yeah uh, babri ji uh, i'll just say this uh, exactly what you said used to be that uh, used to be that in ancient marriages time right in vedic system they would look at in you know, sun and moon compatibility there was no equation of venus at all venus as a marriage concept came only later in this kind of yuga you know in my opinion why because uh, used to be that when you marry a woman she would actually become like your mother when he um, man he was going to take the role of a father also so that mutual thing and that was a this is a very important thing also in synastry also because the first planets the of all the other planets even if you just looked at the stone and synastry of that that can exactly say how your how everything is playing out like exactly that because it's exactly that what you're saying so sun is your father your relationship with your father this corresponding moon is your relationship with your mother that, those are the important planets that are luminaries you know and that's how you are exactly that relationship within sun and moon in your chart and again if you do the symbol of the other person moon and sun with your so moon, your man sun with the other with the woman's moon and the woman's um, that kinship is going to be very very important but of course that woman's moon itself is dependent upon the or a man's moon is also dependent upon the sun by default so you know because uh, brightness or waxing or waning moon is depending upon that sun moon relationship with within a man's chart same same is the case in the woman also so the sun moon factor uh, is you know becoming the the tutti being in the connected with venus is very important because of that so you know but in, again i have to say this uh, in my and used to be in social community they will look at that kind of fact and that would be perfect so it's like okay you know the girls girls mother i mean perfect ideal community you know, ideal that community you, why it was, you know like that is why the navamsha chart you know is very peculiar they say marriage is from the seventh house but the saptamsha is not the chart for marriage exactly that it yeah, is the exactly navamsha that. so why would parashar muni say that navamsha is the chart of marriage why because exactly. navamsha means yeah. jupiter right nine means jupiter so jupiter is satvik planet so all the satvik planets are the only ones who can help you sustain your marriage it is jupiter sun and moon it is not mercury yeah. it is not venus yeah. because there are examples in the scriptures time and again You know, in South India also there is this example. You know, one man was there. You know, he was very poor, and you know, he was like very not not great to look. But his wife was, you know, extremely good looking. And you know, then later on, um, one day their guru. I'll just cut short the story. One day their guru came to their house. You know, and they did not have anything to you know feed to the guru, and then they were feeling so embarrassed. And then this lady, uh, this beautiful lady, what she did. she uh, she knew a very rich businessman who always used to you know kind of uh, wanted to enjoy with her and she knew this and then she went and told to this businessman that uh, you can enjoy with me i have no problem but my guru has come to my home please give me some food or money so that i can feed my guru maharaj you know you know sumptuously you know because i cannot tolerate the fact that my guru maharaj comes and he goes without eating you know or without eating anything good and then this uh, man was very delighted all his you know sexual desires would be fulfilled and then he said yeah, yeah take whatever you want just take it you know everything is yours you know le le sab le le then she took lot of things and she came and you know 
uh, she cooked a very big meal and then she fed to her guru and then the husband returned and the husband was shocked to see all this <laughs> he was like you know I, I am a beggar i can't even you know feed you know this uh, chipped rice you know which was right. taken for krishna when he went to dwarka you right. know even that he could not take so how in the universe is this you know sumptuous meal with you know 50 30 000 items coming out did you get some akshay patra or something like that right this lady told you know this wife told to her husband you know i have uh, i have uh, in hindi they say na girvi rakha hai you know my chastity is you know with him now right you know i have right. sold my chastity away for you know feeding my right. guru and then this husband you know he was jubilant when he heard this he started dancing he said you know you you are such a great lady you know i feel like touching your feet you know you are like my guru mata you know you are like a goddess and then they fed the guru maharaj and then uh, the guru maharaj was very happy and the guru said you know but uh, and then later on they went to the guru after he finished eating and said you know we had no money but uh, my wife has done this uh, he has you know she has uh, said to this man like this so this is how we fed you this feast and his guru maharaj was amazed to hear wow such a level of dedication and then his guru maharaj said now you go and give the remnants the jutha of this plate to this person <laughs> mm-hmm. and then she went in the night dead of the night the man had arranged everything you know all nice and then she said you know i am ready to enjoy with you but my only condition is you must eat whatever is there in this plate and then he was like oh yeah yeah whatever you say you know <laughs> right you know to to enjoy with you i can do anything you know what to speak of eating you know whatever you give i will just eat you know and then he took and he started eating and because this great this guru he was so elevated you know when he ate that the mahaprasad of this guru he was totally transformed all his lust was eradicated from his heart and then he fell at the feet of this lady and he he started begging to her you know please forgive me i saw which you with such a evil no glance you know i will never do this with anybody with any lady not only you with with anybody and i will become very spiritual and i will give all my wealth in donation to serve the brahmins and the rishis and that is how he got transformed so it is not somebody's you know wealth or beauty it's not mercury venus basically nowadays people only yeah. see mercury venus so his mercury is over my venus you know uh, or my mercury is over her venus this will happen that will happen no that can give you some uh, that that could be good for a one night stand you know <laughs> or that could yeah. be very good if you are visiting a prostitute but with marriage yeah. it doesn't work with marriage nowadays i only see jupiter sun and moon these three i see and then marriage compatibility is over but it's very difficult to explain people because when i explain then they start asking me questions but sir my venus is in uh, he, he with his her you know synchronicity is there then why are you crying then why are you miserable if your venus is so great in uh, this what you say na no? sinestry you should be very happy right but you are not why because right. of the the fundamentals are damaged that is why you are having a bad relationship right so right very difficult to explain to people because they come to us by seeing these youtube videos and in youtube it's only you know seventh house seventh lord and you know venus and sexuality eight now they they've started using the eight thousand can you believe it you know wow. they say that <laughs> if somebody's eighth lord you know a man came and said to me you know that he got the chart of a girl and he said you know my eighth lord is sitting over her venus you know? right so, so yeah. that yeah. that makes him that means you know he saw in some video in youtube that that will make the person the other person very sexually attracted to true yeah i am like god bless you yeah uh, you are right actually that's the reason why the namamsha it's a big very, very important question in terms of like identifying why you are getting married what you are looking in a relationship ship that kind of question need to be answered because in this day and age used to be jupiter was the reason why people got married jupiter would be in children you know but in this day and age you know uh, of course jupiter is a common sense of spirituality also I mean, now the children is something not many people or they go for children and you know that that kind of morality has been there 
Yeah, of now course, you know, have children uh, also. What to speak of spirituality? Yeah, so, of course, yeah, yeah. Children only. You know, the mundane, I mean, if the <laughs> makers of this world 100 years before, you know, they would see the materialistic society as today, they, they would right. only feel pity. I said, right. forget about the Rishis and the, you know, Yudhishthir Maharaj and Dhuva Maharaj. Forget about all this. Jesus Christ, Muhammad, these are all you know, some other age people. You know, the, if, if the hundred year ago, all the people, you know, they would see this current, they would feel pity. I think, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah, definitely. Uh, Jupiter is a moon and so forth. So, in fact, the marriage itself is a carrying. So, when, when sun and moon together joins, then uh, it should be a, the resulting energy should be something that is sustaining itself. That is what a marriage is. So, when you are with a husband or when you are with a wife, the combination of you two as the unit is a bigger thing, bigger entity than you alone. That's going to be a very important. And usually, that's why Jupiter becomes very important. You know, the common sense of purpose, what are you going towards? Or you're commonly your ninth or ninth floor. So it becomes very important. So, yeah, of course, you know, I agree, Babaji uh, Sun, Moon, and Jupiter for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. In Srimad Bhagavatam, there is a sloka, you know. Vasudeve Bhagavati Bhakti Rakinchana Sarvai Gunai Statra Samasate Sura Harava Bhaktas Kuto Mahat Guna Manorathe Nasati Dhavato Vahi. That one who is elevated in his uh, devotion to Vasudev, Lord Krishna, Vishnu or Ram, Sarvai Gunai Statra Samasate Sura. All the beautiful demi qualities, you know, Tatra Samasate Sura, Suras are the demigods, you know. There are all the beautiful qualities manifest in the person, you know, humility, tolerance, submissiveness, you know, truthfulness, you know, patience, all the beautiful, 26 beautiful qualities that Krishna says, you know, Shamo, Damas, Tapas, Shaucham, Shantir, Arjava, Mevacha, Gyanam, Vigyanam, Astigyam, Brahma, Karma, Subhavajam. So many, you know, Sauryam, Tejo, Dhritir, Daksham, so many qualities are mentioned. Right? And then, yeah. uh, on the other hand, harava bhaktasya kuto mahat guna. It means one who is not cultivating spiritual knowledge, kuto mahat guna. What good qualities do they have? You know, manorathe na sati dhavato bahi. Manoratha means chariot of the mind. Today I like this. Yeah. You know, today I like strawberry ice cream. Tomorrow I like vanilla. You know, tomorrow I like almond. Then some other day, I don't like ice creams. I like jalebis. You know, tomorrow I don't like jalebis. I, I like somebody else. You know? Every, every uh, like people these days, you know, today they like this person, after six months they like somebody else, and after two years somebody else. So it's like, you know, yeah. those who are not having spiritual wisdom, you know, they are just running in the chariot of the mind. Today the mind is, you know, driving them like a dog with this person, tomorrow with that person, you know, today with this, tomorrow with, you know, wine, with alcohol, with meat, and you know. You are just dancing and, you know, you think that, you know, oh, I am enjoying life, you know. And actually, Bhagavatam says you are just, you know, running, you know, it's like the chariot is running. And as a headless, uh, what you say, na, Sarathi, <laughs> because right. that book is like that intelligence, you know, if the intelligence is weak, then uh, you are just, uh, you are not driving the chariot, they are driving you actually. <laughs> you know, so. Right. That's what Jupiter is, all the divine qualities. If that is well placed or it is good, then things can be improved. Otherwise, they should try to improve it. All right. Thank right. you very much, sir. We could continue. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we put a long, <laughs> long discussion. It was good. Hopefully, people reach to this uh, final point and they work on improving those kind of student planning. So that's all we can yes. hope for. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, great, Babaji. It's a rainy day. You are also wearing red. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good point. Yeah, observation. I <laughs> didn't realize yes. that. But Thank yeah, you great. so much for your time and for your observation. We'll see each other soon then. Thank sure, Babaji. Okay. Yeah. Thank you again.